by Lucinda Landon. Part 13. Peter, look, Meg said. The fifth clue was all crumpled when we found it, but the others were folded neatly. Maybe someone read it before us. Possible, but who had the opportunity? Asked Peter. Suddenly, there was a knock at the front door, and Peter ran to open it. It was a policewoman. Alice tried to explain what had happened. Let me get this straight, the officer sounded puzzled. This valuable book was hidden on purpose, and then it was stolen. What exactly is it worth? Many thousands of dollars, said Alice, especially to a mystery lover. Ms. McIntosh, you'll have to come down to the station to make a statement, said the officer. And we'll have to close the library so we can search for clues and the book. Close the library, Alice cried. This is a disaster. Come on, Alice, said Gramps. Why don't you call your dentist? Then at least the tooth will feel better. I just did. Dr. Hugo's calling me back. Alice sighed. Okay, everybody, I'm locking up the library. Meg and Peter gathered up their detecting things. Caroline went to get her pocketbook. Gramps got his radio. Mr. Plotnick picked up his briefcase. Where's Jerry? asked Alice. Here I am, Jerry said as he bounded into the room. I finally remembered to put the recycling bin out just in time. We've, we've got to tell them about Jerry, Peter whispered to Meg. Quick, before he gets away with it. Just give me a second. Meg studied her notes. But your notes are wrong about one thing. Peter pointed out. What? said Meg. She stared at her notebook. What's wrong in Meg's notes?